My name's Ushi, I am 29 years old, I am a blue belt and I trade at East Rand EJJ. Right, my boyfriend was uh, into MMA and always took more of a liking to the grappling side. Um, and while we met, while we were making we varsity and he actually took me to the judo mats at Tux and threw me around a couple of times and really that's where my love of uh, enjoyment for it started. And then when I heard he had moved, he had eventually moved to Pinoli and um, started Jiu Jitsu at East Rand BJJ, I was, you know, couldn't have him starting without me, so I was on the men's suit after him. So thanks to him for introducing, introducing me to the sport. Oh, Jiu Jitsu is um, lit a fire, definitely, and it's, it's not just the physical aspect to it, it's also and a mental, emotional aspect to it as well, keeps you humble and uh, also just make them some really good friends here as well. The social aspects also helps keep coming back. Right, so, sure, competitions, I started off quite well um, and just rode that wave. Uh, it is unfortunate that the ladies' pool is quite small. We aren't seeing these ladies co continuously compete, um, which is quite sad. Um, but. I've got four gold rashes in my cupboard at home. Happy to get, keep getting them until the girls step up and come and give me some competition. My first outing at Winner Takes All was definitely a bittersweet one, um, but in my defense, I took a seasoned blue belt all the way to the last couple of seconds. Um, it was a big competition for me, it was one of the biggest as a white belt, um, did a massive weight cut, and I think that work that I put in was testament of how much I had, how much effort I had put in. And Obviously my coaches thought that it was deserving of a blue belt, it, is a bit of, um, it was a bit of imposter syndrome at the time, you know, coming off of a loss and getting a belt, but looking back, I can, yeah, so many mistakes I can rectify and if we have another, if we have another round together, I will, yeah, I've got it. <laughs> oh yes, I definitely have faced some of these ladies before, um, I do have my work cut out for me, but I've, um, I'm ready this time and with 10k on the line, I've got that fire in me and I'm ready to come and take it. There have been a couple of girls that I've had losses against. I'm working against, I'm working myself back up and ready, ready to, to make them work. Get that, get that 10k. <laughs> Alright, so immediate threat out of the group, uh, would probably say myself. Um, I'm one of the heaviest girls coming in. There are a couple of girls that have got uh, some experience on me, maybe done, done jiu-jitsu for a couple of years, maybe had some international experience, but I've got it coming and I'm ready to, to just show them all, show them what I've got. Doesn't matter who's up first, second, third, I'm ready. So some of my strengths going into this absolute bracket is uh, definitely that I'm one of the heaviest girls. I'm going to come with the pressure, best they be ready for it. Uh, I'm also blessed with some German engineer genetics, so we've got this. 
also been going through, will be going through camp doing all sorts of, of different techniques, sharp neck up on my submissions, keep scrambling, keep going, and just keeping that intensity high. What can the fans expect on the night they're coming in? Wow. When I get up those bats on the 15th of March, I may look cool, calm and collected, but inside that fire is burning and I'm ready to bring it home. I'm ready to go. Let's fight these ladies. Let's do what we can. Let's leave it out on all up. Leave it all out on the mats and see who can who can come out on top.